Hello everyone, it's Alex here, and you may be wondering, what are we doing now? Well, basically, we're at the point in the game where we need to go back to the past in order to do some stuff. But first of all, we're going to get rid of our, not here to get rid of our reserve suit, just take it off, because literally, um, we don't need it for, like, now, but we want to avoid the light legs from eating it, because we still to need it. But that doesn't mean our hot shield should still be eaten, but still... There's another shield that's coming, coming out that won't be eaten by the leg lakes. So that's a good thing. Alright. So. We're going to have to go back into the past. Right now. So let's get going. Because we're going to do some things. Before we go to the next thing we're going to do. Now then. Get this. The next thing we're going to do. Plot really. Is actually we're going to go to the windmill. That's right. You know the purpose of the game. we got to go to the windmill. But first, we gotta do some things in the Castle Market and in Zora's River. And guess what? They both involve the use of Song of Storms. So this guy just needs to adjust the camera angle. But whatever. Alright. So anyway, what we're gonna do now is that we're actually gonna go to the... First of all, we're gonna go to... First thing we're gonna do, but... Our stats are kinda weird, so... Alright, we're gonna get out of our arena. Um, we'll put it right here. And we're gonna kick out our slingshot. That should be good. You know what? Let's just go right here. Of course, go right here. That should be good enough. Yeah, I just wanna make sure my stats are pretty good. Alright. Now, we'll be going to Kagaru Village right now, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah! This is when you get the pure little light you haven't got so already. If she told you already. Um, I know about the upgrade to the Deku Nuts and, you know, my bombs, but I actually beat this game without them. Um, in Private Spot, I did get the Seed upgrade, but not the Bomb upgrade. But, yeah, one upgrade is fine for them, but Deku, Deku 6 and Deku Nuts, yeah, I got the upgrade for them. Alright, so basically, in order to get something very useful, um, you want to um, go back to Hyrule Castle. Okay. Once again, you're not going to kill by any guards. If the guards see you, then they're screwed. Alright. Alright. You come back here if you want if you, ha if you want to, if you haven't got this yet, in case it didn't fire. Because there's something going that we didn't fire for. Oh yeah, so we're here. Our stages. Now then we could go to the other area, but first we're going to go here. Same way, we're going to go through... This field don't get killed by any guards. Um, last time regresses, but you know what? I think I'm gonna do this. Screw the daytime. I'm no, oh, not screw daytime. Screw nighttime, and I'm just gonna turn it off for now. I just come up here, and then we just. Now then, what we do now is actually go this tree here and play Song of Storms. Oh, wrong song. There we go, Song of Storms. Yep. Where right there should be a hole. And watch it still like this. Let's play this song, but still, I think the Song of Storms will still be on. I like how it's raining when I'm playing this song. Interesting, huh? In this hole. Now you hear some Skultolas in here. Hmm. Let's put some bombs. Fall right here. And there's just some bugs, some rubies in the pot. I'm gonna run my fairs right now because we actually need to do some bugs. Yeah. Let's put the bugs somewhere else because you don't need it for now. Let's just get our bombs instead. Any spots are just equipment we need. Thing nuts. Some more bugs, bombs, sugar skin. Yeah. And as you might guess, one of these things 
Oh, that did not really get what I want. No, do not drop. Throw. I'm just following again. And it's not right here. It's just this close to right here. Which we will kill with the boomerang. Right here now, because we don't... Because we just feel like it. Alright. Put on right here. And then... This is where we need to go to. Alright. Now this gold store right here, right next to this normal gold store, this gold, this gold store is actually known for being like a cheater. So basically, you have to do is you really need to just get this gold store with the boomerang, then get it all again as you jump up to this platform, then it'll still be there and you still get one gold store. But it's kind of hard. If you master it, then you'll be able to do it. But um, I'm going to do this guide with the collection of all 100 gold stores. So. We're not going to do that cheap thing. We're actually going to get them all normally. So, that means we're going to skin this gold saw right here. And can't even really glitch down, but whatever. we still got this gold saw. And you know what? Because I feel like it. Yeah, but I feel like just doing this song. Because I know I could have just been kicked out. But I still like doing it. Because the next one we got to go to is Zora's River. And some of you might have seen frogs in Zora's River on the way to Zora's Domain. Well then, you want to make sure you have all the songs, and it's still nighttime, so... There we go. Yeah, remember, when it's nighttime in Hyrule Castle Town, you cannot leave. Repeat, you cannot leave unless you use a warping song. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a shop that's only over that night, and I believe it's in this house right here. Let's see what it says. Pressure chest chest test. Time to already close. Only tonight. Basically, it can only be done during nighttime, but, however... We still need to get an item in order to get, make it easier, because literally, um, without the item, it's going to be very hard. And what items say? Well, we need some sort of item we need to get, that we're probably starting to get in this episode. Hmm. Just want to get rid of some unfinished business first before we move on. Hut, 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 hut. You guys are going to say that later on in the game. Yep. Yes, you know what I'm saying. For some reason. I just like saying. Alright. So let's go find those frogs in that area. In other words, we go this way. And then we go into these. Think of this grass. Okay, before doing what I was doing, in other words, not those doing. All right, if you want to do what I'm about to do right now, make sure you have the following. Uh, make sure you have the song of storms and all of these five other songs in order to do before doing this. Okay. And I'm gonna buy it for now because you need it right now. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price, 80 rupees for one piece. And we're gonna buy this magic beans because literally, there's like one more place we need to get them at. However, there are two more places in Howard Field that I can do them at too, but we're not gonna mind with them. And I did not mean to jump to the river. Repeat, I did not mean to jump to the river. I meant to do something else. So, let's just get out of the river. And back here. No! Stop jumping in the river! Please! Come on! Thank you, please, for not jumping in the river. Oh, fine! You all take the goo goo. No! Not the rock! As in the R O C K, not the rock's feather, which is an item from another game of the series. Alright. You get across here with the cuckoo. Watch over those locker rocks. Go across here. And 
Now let's get to where those frogs are, if you remember where they are. I can just follow where I'm going and you'll be able to find them very quickly. I think that get this is how they get the start. We so you got their video. Anyway. Let's go in here. On this platform. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Okay, go on this platform and get your ocarina. Look at these frogs to come out. First of all, play Song of Storms. Yeah, so basically a Song of Storm game. Yeah, interesting, huh? And then watch this. Y'all dance and jump around. Wow, that melody is so cool. Ribbit sitting in the rain. Oh, what a feeling. Ribbit. Please take this as a token of our foggiest gratitude, Ribbit. Alright, see you, Ribbit. So you just stand on the river and we get our piece. That's interesting, huh? Now get this. If you play a certain song, then the other song, then the other song, and the, you know what, you get something else. Yeah, the other one around. And when the frog starts to get bigger, young lad, you play the ocarina well. Take Ruby's souvenir. Yeah, take Ruby's souvenir. I'll show you what it is next one. So yeah. Oh, he plays on a song. <laughs> he plays a song. Yeah. So I'll show you what the entire thing is. Then I'll just get the rest of them. So yeah. Now that one's growing. Young lad, you played Ocarina well. Mm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. We all show. Should probably say Ribbit. Take rubies as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit. Ribbit. And it's daytime. They still do it daytime. Or night time. Also, it's long time now. Yeah, I look at the roots. Like, the frogs dance to the song. The roots. Then I'll jump around and. Now the road's going bigger! Skip the thing again and get pro reviews. That'd be wrong. Wrong item. <laughs> look at the play is backwards. <laughs> Alright, and anyway, we'll just play the Sun Song. And the last one to play is Sorry a Song because it's. Okay, I'm sure we did it, but yeah, Sun Song is a little bit different. Then it around, and then that one goes bigger! One more left! I'm not wasting 50 rubies, but whatever. Once oh, again, facing backwards, I'll play. He's like the blind prophet. He's like looking around, like he can actually do it by himself. No, it's not still going on. And that frog goes bigger. Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Mm, that melody is so fun. Yeah. Now, notice that they're all bigger. Now then, when you play the ocarina now, look at us. We're all Hollywood frogs. We are the world's famous, fabulous five froggish teeners. We're a bit Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us, Ribbit. Okay, then ready, set, go. Yeah. Ow. Okay, remember. I right, remember this. Okay, the purple one is left, the white one's down, the other one's right. Alright. Remember what they are in the Ocarina? This is A, this is. Yeah, you just say certain thing. Ow, come on. Try this again. It's the same thing every time. Ow, come on. Come on. Do it. Right this time. It's easier to see who it is. See who's actually blowing. Ah, come on. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Young boy, you did great. Perfect. We are stuffed, Ribbit. Except for the silver one. We take the silver in our gratitude. Okay, before I say it right now, but what is with the silver one? Come on. Why did you need anything? What the? That silver one did not eat any frogs. It's like, it's like, 
You know what? One thing. Fire? That silver frog has done anything. But whatever. Just do what I say, okay? Whatever. But anyway. We get another art piece. Yay! Now I gotta collect three art pieces with another art piece. You gotta reach your life and you get powered up. And there we go. Okay. Alright, we're gonna get one more thing first of all before we move on to the next thing I do. Um, it's in Kakarito Village, and we're gonna do that as an adult. And get this. It's actually from that guy that's actually stuck on the house. But we can only we can only reach him from a long shot, so we're gonna get the heart piece. <laughs> yes, here's a heart piece. So Larry, we're gonna do that real quick. Just so we can get 17 hearts to start off the next area. And that's what means that we're gonna be starting out the next area with only like four hearts left to get the next heart piece. So yeah. Yeah, still have plenty of time, so I can do that right now. No not right now, just get that thing you need. It's saying that he likes quoting the master sword, you know he has the big horn sword equipped. Interesting, huh? But I will be using the master sword in some parts of the game. But yeah. Oh yeah. Take note of this. We have a big horn sword in your back. This is your shield. You still have shield. Yeah, so make sure you do not take out your big horn sword if you have it equipped to use your shield. But with the master sword you have to use your shield. Can take it a short. Yeah, I think it works without the short, but take note of that. All right, because you only use two hands. Like watch like this. Cause redead. All right, speaking of redeads, you'll see them a lot during the next area. We should say mini area. Because yeah, cause get the dungeon. You're in the dungeon with that item I'm talking about. See, yeah, this video is only about extras before we start the area. Alright. This isn't a waste episode, just trying to use some stuff before the next area. Um, we're actually going to end off the video with actually getting the area open. Oh. oh. In other words, we're going to go to the window and play a Song of Storms and make that guy angry. Oh, jeez, I forgot this song. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh god. That place is on fire. The place is burning. Oh god. What's going on? <gasps> Sheik! Get back, Link. Whoa. Now, what we're about to get is literally something useful that we can use right now, but oh my god, what is that? Sunny Scratch Sheik! And throwing him to the ground over there. Oh my god! What did this? Who did this? What in the world is that? Well, where the thing is, is actually the boss of the next major temple and then where it's the seventh dungeon oh my god we can't fight it but we can use something else that we have obtained that we will obtain in the next main dungeon but we will we will we will get it um in the next video probably looks like you're coming around Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Empa, the leader of the Kakarito village, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the shadow temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil shadow spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard beyond this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. Okay, we're going to also use this as a warp point to Kakarigo Village too. 
So yeah, we're gonna use this song. Yeah. Play the song real quickly. Yeah, I forgot about this cutscene. But yeah, we're gonna be starting Shadow Temple after we get the. Yeah, we will start in the Shadow Temple after we get the item from the next main dungeon. So probably about episode 55 is so when we're gonna start the Shadow Temple. So yeah, take note of that. And now we have learned the Nocturnal Shadow. We're gonna use this as a warp point to Shadow Temple, to Graveyard, and Cagro Village. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Link. However, he's gonna take care of the village. I have one sort of business I need to take care of, first of all. So it's gonna be raining, storming like this. Okay, so we're gonna do this real quick. Um, we're gonna get our long shot, and we're actually gonna make sure go here, top of this, probably. So use a long shot and latch on this. Use the very carefully. There we go. That works. So let's talk to this guy. And... That's looking around. So we can, let's talk to this guy over here. He's stuck. Here, here. Let's, let's speak to him. Let's speak to him, please. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. Which is... Art piece gives us 70 art. Let's go back to the Temple of Time and quickly get put the sword away, then actually play Nocturne and Shadow, show where we're going. And then we actually get to do something real quick. Yeah. So before we start the Shadow Time, we're going to get something that's real useful. Okay then. Basically. We had the scene right there. But anyway, we're gonna get an item that's really useful, especially for the temple after the Shadow Temple. In other words, it's gonna be like the final before before Gans Castle Temple. Yeah. It's already the last one with the heart container. I need to beat the boss. And speaking of the heart containers, we only have like four heart pieces left. So let's just get started with the with the next area. Yeah, so we're gonna use this Nocturne and a uh, Shadow for a war point to Cairo Village. So yeah. This way is the entrance to the Shadow Temple. We won't do that until we actually get the next next thing I do. Now then. The thing we're doing before Shadow Temple is actually important. Repeat, it is important. So, you might want to do this before you go to Kyrie Village as an adult, so, take note of that. Alright. Okay. So, let's go into the windmill, and actually we're going to play a song of storms. Here's the windmill else. Let's play it to Melody, the song. That's in here. And his song, and the song of storms. Now it goes spin very fast. So fast. So real fast. Look at it goes like this. What's going on? It goes very fast. But take note. The water's going down. And I just noticed a room that's just like sort of anything. This is going very fast. What's he doing? Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going around way too fast! So yeah. Now we have entrance to the well, which is actually the entrance to the next dungeon. So it's just been closing. This is Alex here. Not Alex. Oh yeah, this is Alex, yeah. This is here. And next time we're gonna go down this well, and in the well right here is indeed the next mini dungeon we're going to take care of. So, before we start we're going to do this. Let's go in here, and the next time, we're going to be doing the bottom of the well. So, yeah. Later, folks.